Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson we're going to study scaling figures and the scale ratio. Now scaling figures means that we are enlarging or shrinking shapes so that they retain their basic shape. And in that case the figures are called similar figures. For example, these two figures are similar. The rectangles are similar. Or these two hexagons are similar hexagons because their basic shape is the same even though one is smaller, one is bigger. Now, here it is like this, it is like this rectangle got enlarged and we can talk about the scale ratio. In what ratio did it get enlarged? We can get, in this case, we can get the scale ratio from the side lengths. We look at this side, 6 became 9. And so the ratio 6 to 9 is the scale ratio. Of course it simplifies to 2 to 3. I could also look at this side. It is 8 now and it becomes 12. 8 to 12 also gives me the scale ratio. Okay, so the scale, scale ratio between these figures is 2 to 3. Now, I want you to notice something. You remember what a proportion is? A proportion is an equation where we have a ratio equals another ratio. And now from this picture where I have those two figures that are similar, I can write a proportion. You see, my ratios are here. I already wrote the ratios. I have the ratio of this side to this side, which was 6 to 9. I'm going to write it now as a fraction. And then this ratio equals another ratio, which is this side length to this side length, 8 to 12. So here's my proportion. Of course, this ratio here is equal to 2 to 3, so I could also write that kind of a proportion. 2 to 3 equals 8 to 12, or 6 to 9 equals 2 to 3. And then you can have problems where one of these side lengths is unknown, like here. And then you can solve them using this proportion. Now this one though, we don't need a proportion here, I'm going to show you another, a little different method. The scale ratio is 4 to 5. Okay, so think of it this way. It is as if 4 parts here becomes 5 parts here. So I'm thinking of this side that is 35 centimeters, and I'm thinking, thinking of it as 5 parts. And here the corresponding side is 4 parts. So if this is divided into five parts, like that, then I can of course calculate one of those parts being seven centimeters. Over here in the smaller one, the ratio being four to five, there's only four parts here, okay? Each one of them being also seven centimeters, so this x must equal 28 centimeters. You can also write a proportion. You take this as your one ratio, four to five, and then the other ratio is this side to this side, x to 35, okay? This would be your proportion. If you solve it, you get x equals 28. Over here, it is a similar problem. 4 to 3 is our scale ratio. This time, the figure was shrunk. And so I think the same way as if this side here is divided into four parts and they become three parts here in the smaller figure. So if this is divided into four parts, then each part must be 25 centimeters, and here would be three parts, and each would be 25 centimeters, so I get three times 25 centimeters, or 75 centimeters here. I'll also show you the solution using a proportion. In a proportion, I need two ratios that are equal. This is my one ratio. And the other one I get from these side lengths. Imagine this was not yet solved. I know we solved it, but if it wasn't yet solved, it would be unknown. So it would be 100 over x. Notice I need to write 100 over x, not x over 100. Because on the top, in both cases, I have the larger numbers. And on the bottom will go the smaller numbers. And then you solve it in the regular way by cross multiplying 4 times x equals 3 times 100 and then from here we divide both sides by 4 so x equals 300 divided by 4 
which of course is the same, 75 now centimeters. Over here, we are not given the scale ratio, but we could solve it, okay? I could easily solve the scale ratio by looking at two corresponding sides. This is the shorter side of the rectangle here, and this is the shorter side here. So the scale ratio is 2 to 5. But I don't actually need to solve it in that sense. I can just write the proportion, which the proportion will have the scale ratio 2 to 5, because those are the side lengths. I take this side length to this side length, 2 to 5, and then this side length to this side length, x to 8. This is my proportion. Notice you need to be careful so that you use corresponding sides. I could not write the ratio x to 5 because this side does not correspond with this side. I need to use corresponding sides. The shorter side to shorter side, and the longer to longer. Sometimes in math problems, in math books, they have this kind of problems with similar figures, but the other figure that is bigger or smaller has been turned around sideways or whatever, so you have to be careful. Look at the corresponding sides. Now, to solve this proportion in a regular way, 5 times x, you cross multiply, and then 8 times 2, 16. And then divide both sides by 5, so we get x equals 16 over 5, which is 3 and 1 fifth, or 3.2. If you're given units like inches or centimeters, then you can choose either the fraction or the decimal as your answer, maybe 3.2 centimeters. Lastly, Enlarge this shape in the scale ratio of 3 to 5. Okay, it's a right triangle. And I can simply think of this side having three parts, so to speak. Of course, each part is then 5 centimeters here. Then in my enlarged triangle, I will have instead five such parts, five times 5 centimeters. So I need a 25 centimeter side. And then this one also, this other side, I also think of it as being in three parts. Okay, of course they are longer parts, 8 centimeters each one. And then in the enlarged triangle I take 5 of such parts, 5 times 8 centimeters, so I get 40 centimeters. So now I have my two side lengths and I can draw the triangle. Let's see. Maybe I'll draw it this way. And then the last side I can just draw there. Okay, now this I drew it as if it had been turned, this 24 centimeter side corresponds with the 40 centimeter side, and then this side corresponds with that side. The shorter with shorter, the longer with longer. Okay, we're all done with all of this, and I hope it was helpful.